What's poppin' YouTube and welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie back with another video for y'all. And this video right here is if your Lilith is in the sign of Aries or the first house. And I'll pause for the cause. If you don't know how to find your Lilith placement, if you're new to this journey of self-love, self-knowledge, self-understanding, if you don't understand how important it is to learn yourself, to study yourself, to know yourself, through astrology and numerology, don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos. I'll put the link in the description. You have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So if you look to your birth chart or your natal chart, it's the same thing. And you realize that your Lilith sign is in Aries or the first house. This video is for you. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's just get it popping, shall we? So before I start, I decided to challenge myself with this series. I didn't know too much about the Lilith placement and what it represents before I did this video, but I did hours of research. I have a lot of information that I'm able to compartmentalize with my Mercury in the sixth house so I could relay it out to y'all in a way that y'all can understand it. So before I start, I'm gonna give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what Lilith and Aries people look like and act like in reality. And I'm also gonna have a list of celebrities that have the Lilith in the first house. So Lilith and Aries, we got Michael Jackson, rest in peace. Your boy Prince, Pamela Anderson, your boy LeBron James, R. Kelly, J. Cole, Trey Songs, Leona Lewis, Tony Braxton, Stacey Dash, and your boy Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace. And now these are the celebrities that have the Lilith in the first house. We got Marilyn Monroe, Michael Jackson, rest in peace, Shakira, Khloe Kardashian, Russell Brand, Jessica Biel, Venus Williams, Angela Bassett, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, and Billie Eilish. All right, so boom, Lilith and Aries, and also Lilith in the first house. So first of all, what does Lilith mean? What does it represent? What is a Lilith? Like, what is that? If y'all don't know what it is. So we have to go all the way back to the beginning of time, to the ancient uh, mythology. So this is like a myth. And mythologies, myths are stories that they have different renditions of it, different different ways of people explaining it. But it's all about, you're supposed to take out the symbolisms in the story. It's not about being exactly how it happened. And so like these things, might not have happened exactly how we're saying it's happening, but you're supposed to take the, sim the symbolisms from the stories to understand what, what's going on. So mythology, these are myths right now. Don't take me literally for what I'm about to say, but uh, the myths about Lilith is going back to when life started, when the earth began. We all know the story about Adam and Eve, how Eve was made from Adam's rib and lived in the Garden of Eden. Now Lilith actually, was the first wife of Adam. Before Eve came to be, Lilith was the first wife of Adam. Now, Adam was made from the dirt from this ground, and also Lilith was made from the dirt from the ground. Now, Eve was made from the ribs of Adam, Lilith was made from the dirt from the ground, just like Adam. So you could say that they are both equally the same. Now, everything was cool, everything was peachy, dory, hunky, dory, whatever, and then all of a sudden, when it comes to sex, though, Adam, being the masculine, being the man, wanted to always dominate during sex. And Lilith, also being made from the dirt, her mentality is that we're equal, did not want to always conform to Adam's masculinity, did not always want to conform to Adam being dominant, especially when it comes to the sexual, the, when it comes to sex. Now keep that, now keep this sex uh, in mind, because this is like a very sexual or dark energy when it comes to Lilith. So. Lilith did not want to always be submissive, did not always want to conform to Adam's dominance in the bedroom. And Adam obviously was like, nah, I don't want that. You have to submit to me, I'm the man. You know, like the, patriarch the patriarchal way of the man has to be the leader, a man has to dominate, the woman has to be submissive. There's no, uh, no if ands, or buts. So Lilith was like, nah, I don't like that. So because Lilith not being submissive and not being, not reforming to Adam's dominance when it comes to sex, because now Lilith wanted to not always be submissive. She wanted to be on top sometimes. She wanted to be dominant also when it comes to sex. And Adam wasn't having that. So because of that, Lilith got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. Lilith got rejected from the Garden of Eden. She got kicked out. 
and she got kicked out and she went away and she went to have uh, sex with the demons and the other creatures. And that is where Adam came. That's where Eve came from the rib of Adam came Eve. So now, now instead of Adam and Lilith being equally made from dirt, Adam and Eve became like a yin, yin and yang because they're made of each other. So they're one. So they became like one with each other. Instead of being, instead of them being equal, like Adam and Lilith, Adam and Eve became one because they were made of the same like body parts, if that makes sense, like a yin and yang. That's why like Eve is like the epitome of like the feminine energy and Lilith is epitome of like the the woman that did not want to submit, did not want to, did not want to conform. So now knowing these myths, like I said, this is mythology. These are myths. These aren't, these shouldn't be taken literally the story, but the symbols is what y'all should be taking away from this. So Lilith is now looked at as the one that uses her sexual energy for her own pleasures, the one that does not want to conform. So like, that's how, you know, they look at women who are more expressively of their sexual energy as sinners or as like bad in a way. Like these are all like patriarchal ways of looking at women and men. So now Lilith represents being rejected and having that revenge, like that deep, dark revenge for being rejected. Now Lilith got kicked out of the Garden of Eden and she did not want to kick, she did not want to get she she did not want to get kicked out so she was really angry and really revengeful at this moment like she had a lots of deep dark anger inside of her for being kicked out for not being able to reform to Adam's mas masculine energy for not being able to reform to Adam's leadership in a way so she has a lots of dark deep revengeful desires to get back at Adam now understand this how I'm keep repeating the dark, deep, revengeful energy she had because again kicked out. So also in some uh, some stories, they say like she started to, um, her way for revenge was started to kill like babies, started to kill babies. She wanted like to start, she went on a rampage of killing. Some also, <laughs> some also say that she came back as a serpent and that was what, and she was talking to Eve, trying to tell, trying to talk to Eve like, Eve, you shouldn't be submissive, like eat, the, eat from the garden of, uh, eat from the tree of life like it's like the serpent was Lilith telling Eve like you know you shouldn't be submissive to Adam like do what you want and then that's how everything became so understand that all in all understand that Lilith represents the energy of not Wanda woman the divinely feminine woman very sexual in her nature very sexually liberated in her nature did not want it to conform to Adam and because of that she got kicked out she got rejected and now she has all this pent up, built up anger inside of her. And her revenge is like really dark and deep, like very dark and deep energy. Now the Lilith is represented by the, the crescent moon and the cross on the bottom. The way the earth and the moon is represented by the earth and the moon, the space between the earth and the moon, that dark matter, that's what Lilith is. So that's like the matter between the earth and the moon. So the moon, is really uh, really tied to Lilith, so that's our emotions. So that's where like the deep, dark, passionate energy comes from. So now having a Lilith in Aries, now understand this, having Lilith in their first house, what this represents in your chart, now this is like your dark side, this is like your shadow side. This is the side that you have inside you that no matter, depending on your journey, depending on the point in your journey right now, you could either be suppressing this energy or you could be extremely expressing it. It's, it's like it's very extreme way. It's, it's a very extreme way of expressing this energy. Either you're suppressing it, or you're extremely expressing it. Now, having a Lilith in Aries or the first house. Remember, the first house is like your physical appearance. Aries is ruled by the body. Aries is all about me. Aries is all about being assertive. So, in your childhood, you could have been suppressed about asserting yourself. You could have always felt suppressed about actually being able to put yourself out there in a way because you have this flashback feeling of feeling that suppressive feeling, feeling that rejection feeling from that Lilith and the, from that Lilith and the Adam story. So you come into this lifetime, you, you feel suppressed about being assertive. And if you're not suppressive about this, you can be on the other side extreme and be obsessed about your physical appearance. You could be obsessed about the way you look. And like I said, the sexual energy is very strong when it comes to Lilith because that was her way of expressing herself. She wanted to be dominant sexually. 
So the sexual energy you give is like you give off a very strong, intense sexual energy from yourself because it's the first house. It's in Aries. It's all about the me, me. So when people look at you, they will feel that sexual energy. They'll feel that sexual presence very, very strongly. So having this placement, you will notice that people will be obsessed with you easily without you doing nothing. You walk into your room and people automatically just draw towards you and become like really lustful over you. You can also be the type to be obsessed about the way you look. You can be obsessed about expressing yourself sexually. Like I said, either you're suppressing this, you could be afraid of being assertive. You could be extremely shy and not wanting to assert yourself like that. Or you could be extremely extreme and be overly sexualizing yourself. You could be overly asserting yourself. You can be overly impulsive. And the biggest thing for this placement is when the anger comes in, like y'all get triggered when you feel like your freedom is being taken away, when you feel like you're, when you feel like you won't, you can't be independent like yourself, you can't, you can't be independent within yourself. You always have to answer to somebody or you always have to like, you always have to do something with someone instead of doing it by yourself. You could get triggered easily. And when y'all get angry, the anger that comes with Aries Lilith and Aries or Aries or Lilith in the first house, the anger that comes with this placement is extreme, dark, deep anger. Understand that it builds up and it's like extremely dark, deep, deep anger. This energy, Lilith, is very dark and deep. So understand that when it comes to this, it's like you're going to take the Aries energy and you're going to uh, you're going to exemplify or amplify the dark traits of the Aries energy that you, this is what you have inside you. So knowing this, looking at your chart and knowing that you have these traits, knowing that you have these placements inside your chart, you will understand. All right. So this is why I attract so many people like this. This is why I like to express my sexuality like this. This is why I'm so overly to the top when it comes to being assertive, or this is why I like to suppress my, my, me being assertive. This is why I like to be so shy knowing like your Lilith placements will tell you why you do what you do. Now the sign that your Lilith is in tells you what kind of energy you portray out and the house that it's in tells you where in your life it is being manifested in. So like the first house is being manifested in your physical appearance. So that Lilith dark energy, that dark sexual energy is being manifested in your first house and your presentation. In Aries, so it's like the dark side of Aries, the dark energies of Aries, the dark traits of Aries can be exhibited in your dark side. So it's good to understand the darkness that we all have inside of us so we know how to transform ourselves when they pop up or we, or we know how to like handle it when it comes up because we have all these things inside of us. So it's really good to understand why things are happening to us. Why do I feel the way I feel? Why do I get so, so angry when I feel like I'm being repressed, when I feel like I'm being rejected? Like this, like Aries automatically get angry quick, fast and get over it quick, fast. But a Lilith in Aries, when that dark, deep energy comes in the sign of Aries, when that darkness comes in the sign of Aries and they get mad, it's like to the max. It's all about being extreme. It's to the max. And it gets, it just gets like, to the point where they want to like, I'm not gonna say kill people, but know how Lilith, her revenge was like killing. She just felt so angry that she got kicked out. So she wanted to just kill and just wanted to like, to get them back, to get back at Adam. She just wanted to get back at them. The mythical, to the mythical, the um, the stories, the mythical, the myth, mythology, <laughs> mythological stories say that she could have killed babies. She could have did like, she was really like evil, evil and dark when she got rejected. So understanding that, putting that in the sign of Aries, so understand that when y'all get mad, when y'all feel rejected, when y'all feel disrespected, understand that inside you, you have this dark, deep need, or this dark, deep need to exert yourself and to express yourself because y'all felt like y'all couldn't do it with the Lilith being in Aries. Lilith felt like she couldn't be dominant sexually, so she had to get kicked out. So y'all might have felt like you couldn't assert yourself like that. So when you get triggered, when you get, when you feel like your independence is being tampered with, when y'all get, when y'all get, when y'all don't have a way to be like independent and free like that, y'all can get triggered easily and that could spark that anger that's inside y'all. It's a dark side of everybody. Everybody has a light and dark side. Lilith represents the shadow side, the dark side of your chart. 
Now, in this series, I'm going to talk about every single sign and what Lilith, Lilith represents in the sign and the houses. So, this is my first video on Lilith and Aries. Hope y'all enjoyed that. My next video is going to be on Lilith and Taurus and in the second house. You already know I'm about to go in. If you have subscribed to my channel, appreciate all y'all for real, for real. If you haven't subscribed yet, though, make sure you go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. Drink your water, mind your business, and be safe out here. It's your boy, Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'm going to see all y'all when I see y'all.